This week it was announced that Denise Coates, the chief executive of Bet365, paid herself £217 million last year. It used to be companies like JVC, Sharp, Sega that sponsored Premier League teams. And now more than half of Premier League shirt sponsors are gambling companies. How have we got to a situation where some of the biggest companies in our economy are gambling companies? I'm not a prohibitionist, but the only point to legalising something and legitimising it is to regulate it and to get tax from it. One of the biggest ever leaks of offshore secrets. The biggest tax scandal of this generation. Unfortunately, a lot of these companies, these gambling companies, are based offshore. They don't pay tax here, and the tax is needed to pay for treatment for the people that get addicted. He's addicted to roulette machines. He chooses gambling over me. A huge proportion of people that gamble become addicted or are at risk. For fixed odds betting terminals, it's two in every five people that use the machines. Not only that, spend on gambling does not create as many jobs as if it was spent in the wider economy. You don't need to employ that many people to operate machines. You don't need to employ that many people to operate a website. So this money that's coming often from the most vulnerable people in our society, often going out of the country where no tax is paid on it, where no contribution to services is made, where no contribution to employment here is made, you have to question what the point of it is. You really have to look at online gambling companies and what value, what benefit they actually bring to society. Extracting money out of the pockets of ordinary people, creating a problem of addiction, gambling related harm, family breakup, and for what? So people like Denise Coates can get rich. Something has to change. Thankfully, Labour have committed to introducing a statutory levy on the gambling industry and revisiting the issue of regulation. This government has to act. Letting gambling companies loose on our economy hasn't benefited anyone except the 1% who avoid tax and don't produce anything. It's a sign of a broken economy. Let's fix it.